Hello, my name is Chris Sensor with Data Physics Corporation, and I'm going to show you how to set up a sign test in our 900 software suite. So the things you need to know about setting up a sign test are your Excel sensitivities and what type of Excel, your test profile, your sweep rate, and the number of sweeps, cycles, or time for your test. This is a typical sign test in MIL standard A10G. We have amplitude here displayed in displacement, double amplitude. And we can see we have one, two, three, four, five breakpoints. We have a sweep from five to 500 hertz. It's a logarithmic sweep that's supposed to take 30 minutes long. And the entire test duration is three hours per axis. So one way to set up this test is to take a look at each one of the breakpoints and set up a breakpoint table. Now we can enter this directly into the data physics software suite, or since I've set this up ahead of time, I can copy and paste my breakpoints right into our software. I'm going to go into the data physics software suite, start a new test. I'll call this mill standard sign suite. Hit create test. Here I can put in some notes about the test, but I'm going to go right into the channel table. One of my sensors is a TEDS type Excel and I can read this. The other is a typical ICP Excel with a sensitivity of 98.8 Gs. From here, I can go and set up my sweep table. I'm going to paste the text right from the clipboard, and you can see I have all of my displacements, all of my frequency lines, and now I'm going to adjust this. I have a constant displacement, a variable displacement, another constant displacement, another variable displacement, and I'm going to do another constant displacement at the end here and hit apply. Now we can see in acceleration values what this table looks like. For a sanity check I can go in and display in inches. And now we can see that this graph matches my mill standard graph. Now, what you can see here, if I go back to acceleration, is that my graph isn't perfect. So if I put a cursor on here, we can see I'm starting at 4.8 Gs here and getting to 4.9. I didn't get a perfect value estimated from this table. So there's another thing I can do here. I can see the slope here is supposed to be a 2G constant acceleration. And this slope is supposed to be a 5G constant acceleration. So back in the data physics software suite, I can now change this to a 2G constant acceleration and my breakpoints here to a 5G constant acceleration. And now when I hit apply, you can see I now have a perfect 5G line for this test. Next thing to do here is set up my sweep rate. Now I'm in a logarithmic sweep, all right, but it's supposed to be 30 minutes long. So I'll just type in 30 minutes here and it's going to calculate what the sweep rate needs to be to get a 30 minute long sweep. And the last thing I need to do is set up my sweep for an elapsed time of three hours. And that's it. I can now go 
and start to run my test. And there you have it. That is how to set up a sign sweep in the data physics software suite. Thank you for viewing. Just to chime back in here, um, we actually started with a pretest in case anyone was wondering that didn't actually start our sign sweep. Our sign sweep is starting in this next page after the pretest here. Thanks again.